Hello and welcome for the very last time. Today, the sixth and final film in our Building Services series considers who is responsible for specifying building services and their integration into a building. Buildings are rarely designed by architects working in isolation. In fact, the larger and more complex a building project is, the more people you will find working on it. You will find specialist engineers carrying out preliminary surveys, preparing reports and drawing up plans in many different areas. These specialists may include landscape architects, like those we train here in Dresden, but also structural engineers, the specialist engineers responsible for planning thermal and sound insulation and room acoustics, building services engineers, and many more. Building services engineering involves not just one type of engineer, but many different ones, each responsible for a different service. Heating and sanitary engineers plan heating and sanitary installations and simple ventilation systems. Heating and ventilation engineers install and maintain complex heating and air conditioning systems. Electrical engineers deal with high and low voltage installations, while IT engineers are concerned only with low voltage systems. Then there are other specialists such as lift engineers, kitchen planners, laboratory planners and technology engineers. Automatic control engineers deal with building automation systems. During the process of designing and constructing a building, all these engineers and other specialists have to be organised and instructed. There is only one person who can do this, the architect. You can use the analogy that you find most appropriate, conductor, animal trainer, staff sergeant, trainer, captain or dictator. Whichever way you look at it, it's the architect whose job it is to bring all the different players together and make sure they do the right thing. This organisational role constitutes a very large part of the architect's work and takes considerable energy. There are a number of tools you can use to help integrate building services into your building. It's important that you transfer the consumers for the various building service systems to your 1 to 100 and 1 to 50 scale architectural drawings at an early stage. This will help you to plan where pipes and cables have to be run and so anticipate where any potential clashes and complications may occur. We have already talked about the importance of 1 to 20 scale tiling plans in our Walls series of films. As well as being a good way of specifying how tiles should be laid, they can also be used to determine the position of consumers such as radiators and wash basins. To aid understanding, they should include both the layout and the relevant wall treatments in the form of folded out two view projections. Reflected ceiling plans, so called because they offer a reflected view of the ceiling, are used to determine the position of building service consumers in ceilings. As this plan of the foyer in our Nordkopf Tower in Wolfsburg shows, there may be a considerable number of consumers that all have to be integrated in an aesthetically attractive manner, including lights, smoke detectors, speakers, emergency exit signs, etc. Summary Buildings are rarely designed by architects working in isolation. The larger and more complex a building project is, the more people you will find working on it. You will find specialist engineers carrying out preliminary surveys, preparing reports and drawing up plans in many different areas. Integrating building services into an architectural project is particularly demanding in terms of planning and communication. It is the job of the architect to bring all the different players together and make sure they do the right thing. This marks the end of the last series of films in our Principles of Building Construction module. We hope that you've enjoyed watching them and learned something in the process. And remember that one of the advantages of these short films is that you can watch them over and over again whether you're working on an assignment, revising for an exam or just refreshing your memory. We wish you the very best of luck in your future as architecture students and hopefully one day as fully-fledged architects. Thank you.